winning is the best thing in the world because you get everyone congratulating you, the attention, everyone saying well done and you find feel you can just relax a bit like all the hard work paid off you know what people have put into it and when you lose it can be devastating again. when you get hit you know it's real and you know someone's in there to hurt you so it's kind of you just switch on and it is pretty much instinct I'd rather people were afraid of me than fancied me, to be honest, especially in the ring. It's something I keep quite separate because, like I said before, I do like being girly and dressing up and doing my hair nice and going out, but that isn't something that I'd ever really use in relation to fighting. I really got into this sport um, when my coach started fighting. Originally I'd just been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu which is a grappling based sport so there's no striking, there's no punching or kicking involved and I was quite comfortable doing that because it's something I just naturally took to. I started off doing it when I was on holiday in Thailand and then once um, I got back to England I found a club and started training for about three years before I even really thought of getting into mixed martial arts because it was all something I thought wasn't really for me. But, um, I was like a challenge and it was something that my coach pushed me into doing, said you could do it, you know, you'd be really good. We analysed kind of the girls that were on the scene doing it and he thought I had something extra to offer that they couldn't. So I decided to give it a shot and ever since then um, I've just been hooked. I mean, when I've got a fight coming up. I, I balance it better now than I used to, but I will say no to friends, like it was my brother's birthday and I had to say no, I've got to train, like, I'll catch up with you. I always try and make it up to people, but when you know you've got a fight coming up, you know you've got someone that wants to kill you, like beat the crap out of you pretty much. You've got to be dedicated, you've got to have the ability to say like, no to going out and partying. You make up for it once the fight's over, <laughs> party twice is hard, but you do have to pass up things. I keep like a fight diary, which is funny. So before I go and I just, this is a list of mania I think coming through from work. But I'll just make lists of everything I've done. You know, like the pros and cons, like, oh, this is why I'm gonna win. I basically write why I'm gonna win down. And it just psychs yourself up. It's kind of like positive thinking. Because if you can't believe that you can win the fight, then why are you even doing it almost? You have to believe that you're going to win. You have to want to win. This is what I've told her, right? If if we if we got in a fight and it came down to it, and you know, we, we for what reason I don't know, but we were going to have a fight. If I got a really good punch to the face before she could grab me, then I that that'd be fine. But I think if she got hold of me, I, th I think she'd probably probably kick my ass. <laughs> My mum, she she hates it. Like my mum, just the the last fight that we went to, she couldn't she could barely watch it. And I was like, it's fine, you know, don't worry about it. But she she was the one who got on edge. One thing we definitely share in is not wanting to sort of, you know, conform to, you know, necessarily things in society that, you know, we get told to do and stuff. And she did that by, you know, going and beating the crap out of people. <laughs> because of the industry it is, um, the guy, I mean, the, the guys that fight in it are all, you know, huge, big dudes and very competitive and, you know, they're, they're, they're all, they're all so, so big and stuff that I think they, st they tend to stereotype it a lot as well. Not, not all of them, obviously, but a lot, maybe more people who watch it than people who actually compete in it.
it was probably about two and a half years ago. I like I was living in Uckfield, um, just the other side of Lewis. I had a full time job and I was driving down to Hove every single day to train and I was just like, Do you know what? I, I wanna be an MMA fighter, that's what I wanna do so you know, I quit my job. I moved back to my mum and dad's in Worthing because uh, obviously I didn't have a job um, and was just training full time. But obviously I didn't like not having the money side of it. So, I mean, that's when I spoke to Sawi, gave me a little job. And here we are today. <laughs> like I teach kids at the moment, um, like six, six plus. Um, I don't mind doing that. It's, like I like to think that I'm helping. My friends there. They're pretty cool, they all know what I do. Um, none of my friends really want to come down the gym with me. They're all a bit more girly and for other things. So, um, but yeah, you know, everyone's really supportive. My mum, wherever she goes, it's, oh, my daughter's a cage fighter, so. What, she's really proud? Yeah, she is, she is really proud. My parents are really supportive, so, you know, it's like more supportive now than they were when I was younger, or like a couple of years ago even, like just because, like obviously they, you're always going to be sceptical, can she make a career out of this, you know, it's not well known and things like this. Do you know what, I used to like be like, yeah I'm going to have kids, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then I'm like, I don't want kids right now because fighting's going so well and first of all I've got to find a boyfriend but they seem to be hard to come by when you're a fighter. Like a lot of the guys don't understand like what it's like for a girl. Although they go, oh, yeah, it must be hard. It's like you have no idea. <laughs> 